Hey guys. Okay. Welcome back. As you can see, we are in the rattlesnake. Just, I just literally fitted it out. We'll see how we go with it. It basically costs the same as the uh, Scorpion Navy issue. Uh, so, yeah, so it was three and a half billion. And I've got a setup with crews. I've done a top setup as well. Which, we have a look. So I've done the top as well. So that's the top fit. And if you put the tops in there. Uh, I always use Tech 2 ammo or Faction ammo, guys. I never use standard. Ruins the fun. So that's your uh, that's your top fit. <clears throat> Problem with the top fit, of course, is your is your range. So I've had to put a computer on there, guidance computer with a script in uh, range, and I still only get thirty uh, on your top. So it, it really is up close and per personal. Uh, but your DPS, including your drones, one nine two nine. So anyway. That's the top fit. I may. I just need to get the launchers. I've got everything else I need. That on there. I'm undecided with that right now. I might just remove that and put another one of these in, and that allow me to have something like a, like a damage control, a damage um, drone damage amplifier, which is what I've got in this one. So that's what I've done with this one. And that gives me... Yeah. The only thing is, I've put... I've had to put... Um, a YT-8. A 500mn micro-warp drive. But I've put an extra large shield booster. So that is going to drain my cap really quick. So I've got to be pretty good with this. But... Having said that, resists are good, depending on what we uh, what mission we get. So let's have a look at what we get mission-wise. I mean, you're getting 488 DPS from from two because I can only this gets 200. And, is it 275? Um, yeah, 275 percent bonus to sentry drones or heavy drones. So I've got two uh, two wasps in here. Sorry, I've got seven in, but it, it can only use two. The bandwidth only allows you to use two at a time. So from those two wasps, you're getting 488 DPS, which is nothing to be sniffed at. Okay. So let's um, let's ask an agent for, for a mission. No, I don't want that one. So decline. Request another. Smuggler interception. It's Blood Raiders, which is the M, is it? In case. God damn it. Gotta change everything. So let's have a look. Blood Raiders. Uh, smuggler interception. Blood Raiders. Smuggler interception. Blood Raiders. EM and Thermal, I think. Yeah, EM and thermal. So, ah, we got we've got newts here. So I'll have to I'll have to get rid of these cruisers pretty quick because that could really be a problem for the ship. Hmm. Okay, and then a second pocket. You've got a mixture there, so you're gonna have to be on your toes on this one. What's the reward? Four and a half thousand. Okay, so it's not going to be too intense. So let's accept that. It's in. It's next door in Rovers. But let's go EM and Thermal. Uh, let me uh, change out. I think I've got uh, enough. 
going to take out those. I'm going to put in uh, the precision. You know what? I'm going to put 3,000 of them because I'm playing with it. We'll do that. What do I need to get from this as well? 10 militants. Okay. Let's take a hundred or so out. This just gives us... Oh, we need to take a few more out. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's swap out these. So it's these two kinetics need to come out. And the... Uh, the EM need to go in. God, I've only got one. God damn. Right, I'm going to have to nick him off the scorpion. If it's if it's on it, <laughs> yeah, it's there. Look. Okay. Yeah, it'd be nice to see this uh, in the field. Just get an idea what she's like. Where did I put that? Oh dear God. Let's nick it off the Tengu then. I must have. I'm just trying to think where I put it. Well, definitely not there. Oh my God, where did I put it? Crazy. Didn't drop it in one of these accidentally, did I? No. Okay. Get back in it and let's just. <laughs> Let me just find this, guys. Crying out loud. Alright, there's two on here. Drag it into the uh, item. Right, definitely got it this time. Dude. Okay. And there it is. Okay, so that will give us. 89 EM and 85 thermal. I could take that off, the multi uh, spectrum, but I'm going to see how we go, like we did with the uh, uh, with the Scorpion Navy issue. Yeah. So I think we're good to go. Let's just get that loaded up. Cruise, let's see what we've got. I think about 148, yeah, that's good. 148. And that needs to go away as well. Right, let's go next door, let's do this. I might um, just be cautious at first. See where we are. Those nukes. I can see them becoming a problem, so they're going to have to be taken out pretty quick.
I've got a skin for this. I don't know how I... It's only a cheapy one. It's that one. Hmm. Looks a bit tacky to me, but hey-ho. I might buy, might buy one or the others. There's a few, there's some really nice ones. Looking at about five, from five to seven hundred million for a decent one. So I'll probably, yeah. Uh, if I'm going to keep this, I might uh, treat it. Drive. Right, let's get these on. <sighs> have to be really careful with this uh, extra large booster. I'm seriously going to... I mean, you're, you're going to have to micromanage it anyway, because it's, it's 1,200 HP, so you're going to... Gonna be pretty decent, but those um, cap zapping Newton um, cruisers we're gonna have to sort out. Okay. Let's go in. Drive active. See what we've got. <clears throat> okay. So we've got good range on the cruise. So I'm going to burn it back. Let's just see how quick this cap goes. take out we'll do all these little ones and the and the cruises okay aggro time the hell First salvo then just seemed to be ghost, ghost missiles. Oh dear. Okay. Got no aggro off the others yet, so I'm going to go this way. Remember way this way. <coughs> me. I'm not going to last long. Boom. Ooh, yeah, little... S Just have to put another salvo on him. Oh, no. Sweet, got him. I thought that was the last round. That's it for that one. Let's get these here. Don't really want to aggro the other groups. I mean, they are the yellow boxing, but they're not red. So uh, we'll try and just ignore them for now. I'll sort these out. <coughs> Excuse me. And the absolution or damnation or. Whatever you want to call it. 
He's stuck in the in the uh, wreckage, so he's going to die. It's like a stuffed. We always called it a stuffed turkey, because he looks like an overfed turkey or a bird of some sort. I think that's it for that one. He go bye bye. Okay, so we're going to work our way around, I think. So let's keep going this way. I'm going to unlock that. The rest, I think, are in that group. Here, that's that's fine. Okay, so I should be dead now. Next lot will finish him. And there he goes. I like how they're dying before they hit him. just tracking disrupting me which really isn't a massive problem fast on the reload as well, that's good. So I've got the Caldari uh, Navy cruise missile launchers. I tend to go with Caldari Navy stuff. And the, I've got no aggro from the other crew, which is great. quickly okay so let's just sort these out I'm not even gonna drop the wasps because it well the crews are pretty good close up if it got to where I really need some extra firepower then yeah I'll drop the drones Last one of this group. Boom. Right. <laughs> so I've got a range, a missile range of 148 kilometers. <sighs> Having said that. Excuse me, I've just had my food. Having said that, we only have a locking range of 
118. So we need to just burn a little bit towards these. In fact, we're going to just go through the middle of them. So let's lock these up. Yeah, those are far enough away anyway, so that's good. Fit. I'll be struggling. I don't think this mission is. Uh... Yeah, it's going to tax it, tax the ship. Need to get a big in like the blockade or something like that, or worlds collide. Even worlds collide, that's been watered down since since we used to do it years ago. My God, you needed two or three of you in the fleet to do it. Or maybe that was just my skills. <clears throat> it was a long time ago. Right, so I'm going to get aggro now for all this. So we'll probably we'll lock up the me the we'll lock up the cruisers and the frigates. Good. I do the next one, and I need to bring the oh, flipping heck. Have I killed? I think I have. Haven't I? Was it transport ships? Anyway, well, no, no, it's the gate. Well, there's the gate, so I need to get to that. Right, let's just reload. I'll burn towards the gate. Cool. to get my cap up a little bit. So she's doing pretty well, guys. I'm, you know, it's not blown me away, but <clears throat> the Scorpion Navy issue is just as good. Um, as far as, I mean, the fit I've put on it is near enough like the scorpion but um, uh, it's early days I'll see what else there is to mess around with I mean that top fit and she's got torpedo skills at five so it's torps are always a problem though Unless you're in a bomber. A top bomber is just awesome. DPS from a, a tiny little bomber is just crazy. Okay. Where's this one? Nice. Duck in the back. Gauge that for the last look. <laughs> I 
Next slot should do it. Ooh. Next slot after that. Boom. Let's get these, finish these two off. We're on the gate, which is great. Should be it. All it should need. There you go. <coughs> and he's dead. So I'm just going to reload everything. Just give it a couple of minutes. Get the cap up. Okay, let's do it. So we've got a few here. We're going to go off to the left a little bit. We're going to lock up. We're going to lock up the tiddlers as usual. We'll just get rid of them. Should be able to sort them out just with one launcher on each. And get rid of him as well. Okay. Tiddlers there as well. Sweet. As long as you get rid of the little ones first, you know you can at least you can warp out if you're in trouble. Not exactly burning away from them, just slowly but surely. They'll probably catch up, but uh, let's just see what happens.
got a few more in them just to quickly finish them off. So we're getting them all together and we'll hit this big boy. Oh yeah, I've got to remember, don't want to pop them. Blood Raider transport. He's locked, so I know he's, he's there. You forget, and you end up just killing him, and then you're like, bloody hell, where is it? So I'm going to get to him. To him. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is uh, not the best today. Let's reload. So we're going to get some DPS now, so let's just see what. Ah, there's the two. I thought there were two. So let's just see what uh, what we get. I mean, the damage coming in is really light. Ah, there's a big one there. Okay. But he's about to die anyway. Cool. He's dead. Towards these personnel transport while we're killing him. I've got a couple more. Let's just see this. Boom. Sweet. That's a nice big dollop of uh, shield. Repaired. Like I said, though, that will flat my cap pretty quick. I forget about it and leave it running. some damage in. Two cycles and that will be nearly repaired. Sweet. Okay. 
to just watch out for these uh, Newton ones. Sided. Uh, need to take out the DPS now. Might as well reload. Out. <laughs> I love how the bestow is chewing as well. Well, the it's not a bestow, is it? It's what's the uh, impel? Is the Tech 2 version of the? Well, I know that's a faction, but hey. Let's do this one. Let's do a quick repair. Okay. I'm sure more have just spawned in. So this is the last big one. These are so easy to kill. They buff cruise missiles at some point. I haven't used them for donkey's years. So they do look like they've been buffed though. They feel like it. Okay. Hey, my friend. Okay. That's enough repping. Won't get much damage off. Uh, these cruisers now. And he gone. Just keep keep near these transporters. <laughs> okay. Let's finish these fanatics off. Indeed. Kill these two. And he's dead. Right. 
Just these two. Take one salvo, I think. No, two on this one. Surplus of militants. Yep, there they are. So we've got 20. A eh? was counted. Right, so we're done. Warp drive active. So that was okay. Can't say I was blown away by. Like I said, the. Uh, the Scorpion Navy is just as effective. The cap is the issue. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have a look at that. Okay, tell me what you think, guys, in the uh, comments. Tell me what you think to that. There wasn't anything taxing, though. It was only a, a half-decent uh, level four. It was a lot worse. Drive active. And if I'm honest, I don't think it's... It's up to it. Far more comfortable in my Tengu. <laughs> yeah. I just feel a bit, bit of an anticlimax actually with this. Feel a bit let down. Anyway, I will have a mess around later on with Fitz. See what we can do. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. If anyone's getting any suggestions for Rattlesnake Fit, let, let us know, guys. Let me uh, uh, complete this mission. Cool. And now um, I've got a surplus of militants. You always do. You end up with hundreds of the bloody things. Where are they? There they are. Look, 80. I've got 80 bloody militants. 30 janitors. God knows where they came from. 50 needle jacks. Mm. You know what? I don't even bother with these. Why do I have them? Ah, okay. And there, look at all those I've got expired. <laughs> anyway, should we do another mission? Dare we? Uh, not that one. Cargo delivery. Okay. That's there. Yeah. And that's a Serpentis, which is uh, kinetic and thermal. So we will just get the bits off that need to come off. Put what we need in. 
obviously we want those on those off and the kinetic hardener's on uh, you know what I might have a look at um, a passive uh, hardener fit where are they very rarely do a passive fit Okay, so we put those in. Oh, that's right, I need to put a frigate in the escape bay as well. <laughs> and precision. Let's accept it. It's next door again. Uh, I think you all know this one. It's going to go towards the warehouse, then the old spawn start attacking you. Usual stuff. Looking at that now, I have 94 kinetic and 85 thermal. Not too bad. Not too shabby. So we're off next door again. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just adjusting my microphone. Drive active. Oh, excuse me. God. Anybody think I've done a hard day's work? All I've done is uh, install a light, an outside light today, that's all I've done. change it on uh, on Twitter Twitter on Twitch I'm still down it's still down as streaming streaming Jitter 44 nope okay let's walk to location let's get hardness on can I change that there ah yes I can We'll take it off this. Oh, you are kidding me. You can't copy and paste. Oh, yes, you can. Yes, you can, idiot. Yeah, it's done it. Nice one. Okay. So here we are. There's the warehouse. There's the can. So as we start to kill these, more will appear. Mm. Galente. Why does it do that with the first lot of missiles? They're like ghost, ghost missiles. Weird. Very weird. So these are supposed to, I suppose, Supposed to be Kronoses or something like that.
I don't know. And the next one. Let's just get to that can. So more will spawn if I remember rightly. <laughs> or Deimoses or whatever you want to call them, Phobosses, they're not Ictus, so they're going to be Vigilant, Vigilance? Could be Vigilance. I did have a Vigilant for a while. Not a bad little ship. Sold it for a ton of money. They really did hold the price, those ships. Excuse me. There's the there's the goods. And there's the spawn. And now we go back. drop some drones we'll finish him off with the drones sweet we've got all the aggro so that's good there you go let's put the drones on him as well <laughs> and the damage is pretty Pretty uh, minimal. Uh, we just got another spawn. I'll leave the drones to fight if they're doing their own thing. Just keep an eye on them. These brutus brutuses, uh, uh, they'll die pretty quick. That's pretty good. Look at that. Repping. Repping's awesome. They're just, they're just doing your. Oh, they are getting some, some attention. Keep my eye on those. But they get a uh, 275 uh, percent bonus to damage, which is awesome. Right, they're on that uh, battleship. That's that's fine. You go. They are hitting him hard as well. Blimey, they are. They're doing a cracking job. Boys. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. I'm impressed.
All right, let's take some of these Brutuxes out. They should be pretty quickly to die pretty quick. Oh. Yeah, nice one. I'm impressed by the drones. And Brutix is dead. Oh, seriously, he's hanging on by probably one... one point on his freaking structure. Son of a... Can't believe that. We are. I think we have to kill these. Can't remember what she said. Eh, don't even need to kill him, but I'll kill him. Making good work, light work of these battleships and the drones. Really impressed. I'll just kill the uh, Megathron, come Kronos, come, come whatever it is. Now I'll put them on him. Maximize our bonus. <laughs> our bounties. Okay, that's enough. He'll die on the next lot. <clears throat> and we're good to go. Bring the guys in. The line out. They're going to be pretty slow getting across. Let's wait till they're in. Here they come. There we go. So that was... Uh, Easy. It's only, what, 1800 loyalty points? Well, that was, that was it for the rattlesnake, guys. Don't know what you think. Um, let me know in the comments. Docking permission requested. Docking request. And like I said, if you've, uh, if you've got any other fit, Let's have a look at it. See if we can improve on it. Don't really want to go with implants. Um, yeah. I've got... She's she's fully tossed. She's got every... I think implants, I've just got a load of plus fours and then a load of damage for... For... Uh, you see, I've got heavy assault missiles there. And that one... is not a cheap... I'm not going to pull that out. Mm. I th it's a shame we can't reuse implants. Anyway, so I've completed the mission. And that's it. So that's the rattlesnake. I thought I'd just do a quick one, guys, with the rattlesnake. See what you think. Um, thanks for uh, watching, and if you like what you see, 
please subscribe and like and watch some videos. <laughs> I need some hours on the videos. Oh God, I need another th two, another two thousand hours. Crazy. Anyway, uh, thank you again, and I will see you probably tomorrow. I'll be out tomorrow in probably this again. Might have changed the fit, but we'll see. Anyway, take care, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Welcome to my channel. Not done a live one for a while. Been doing other things. And um, we're back with Eve. As you can see, we are going to do the storyline that's been offered uh, but we do have to go to this system in fact I'm just gonna just set Destiny just so I know which station it is uh, so I may as well jump into the Bustard that has that has a 50 well for me it's 57,000 M3 um, excuse me, M3 fleet hangar, which is just awesome. Uh, you can just throw anything in it, and this mission is about picking up and dropping off, and it's seven and a half thousand M3. So yeah, so let's let's go to the storyline agent. Always do your storylines, guys. No matter what it is, it's, it makes a massive difference to your standings uh, and everything so I would just do them as part of the course because uh, it's yeah it's, it's a must okay so let's go to Ekyo in the big fat slow bustard obviously you can see the hull it's based on the badger hull but this is it's a nice ship for hauling I used to use these and the crane uh, the crane is a is a is a cloaky warpy transport ship uh, this one is a blockade runner if you look at the fit, I've nothing on the top, but if you look at the res resists, I put these on. Look at those resists on the shield. Amazing. That's uh, a tough, tough ship. 54,000 EHP. Sweet. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> drive Where do I have to pick them up? Pick up from there and drop off at there. Yeah, I've done this one before. In fact, I'll set that destination now. There you go, so it's five jumps away. And for that, you don't get a huge amount. It's not about the money with this. Like I said, it's a storyline agent and it's effective standards if you have a look. 9.2. And you just, it, well, I don't know if you want to read all that. Just pause, guys, if you want to read it. Okay. And it is this one. Drive anyway, I hope you're well. It's a Thursday. The weekend's nearly here. Don't know what everyone's doing. I just love the sun to come out. 
Well, can you get out on the motorbike now? Not used it that much this year. No, well, it's just my, it's just the way I've, I've been health-wise, so uh, just when I feel okay, I'll get out. Docking permission requested. Well, come on, let's push it forward. Docking there request you go. accepted. Accept. Thank you. Let's, let's get the stuff. There they are. We'll put them in the fleet hanger. When you get to the other end, you will have to take them out of the fleet hanger, put them in your item hanger, or else, or else they won't find them. They don't go searching your ship. If it was in the cargo hold, yeah, not a problem. But for some reason, the fleet hanger is the fleet hanger. And they don't look in there. Silly billies. Right, let's burn for four jumps. <clears throat> Just take a while to get to uh, to get to warp. As you can imagine, it is a lump. They're not bad. I mean, you can see these here. These are, this is the. Uh, I love how they go into detail with things like this. This is your storage compartments. All these. Love it. The detail. Uh, it's something that's that's a lidar. It's made by lidar. You can see that just there. Look, lidar. Um, I just love how they go. Uh, into details, even the BU for Busted. You know, it's just one thing this game always did was just blow me away with, with, with detail. I think that's my OCD coming in. But anyone else uh, feel the same? Let me know. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe guys if you do like what you see um, I know some people will be bored stiff with this but this really isn't aimed at it's not really aimed at people who have years and years experience this is more for the people who are maybe a year or so into the game haven't quite found all the all the uh, bits to do uh, looking for guidance, looking for a direction to go in. I mean, there is so many directions you can go in. Um, yeah. But at the end of the day, I mean, everyone's obviously welcome to watch and uh, and comment. But you know, positive stuff, guys. No, I've had one negative one which I removed. I mean, why? Why would you even? I can't believe people actually come to the keyboard, go out of their way and put something derogatory or or negative on. Why? Is your life so shallow and meaningless that you have to excite yourself with typing things like what they typed? Anyway, it's been removed so no one's seen it. That's fine. Drive active. I mean... I know this is not the best way to do things as far as earning money. Yeah, you can live in zero zero, null sec, and you can earn a lot more. But this is Empire, and this is how it's done. There are other options in Empire. I'm just doing what what I'm used to doing. Um, no griefing. You know, in the old days, people used to come in and do your mission, not do your missions. They'd come into your mission, they'd scan you down, come into your mission, and Nick say something you uh, you were supposed to collect from a can, they'd steal it and warp off so you couldn't finish the mission. Things like that, which were just ridiculous. But, and they still do it. You know, still do it, but I'll just crack on. You know, even if, if I lose a ship, who cares? Who cares, it's only a game. Anyway, that's my rant over. 
and we are nearly there. By the way, anybody who wants to do level 4 missions, I'm quite willing to take you in fleet with me. So you get, if you're not doing level 4s, uh, you haven't got the standing for level 4s, you can fleet it with me and obviously I'll share the rewards and the standings with you. When you're in fleet, you can do that. Uh, it does speed things up a bit and before you know it, you're doing your own level 4s. It's a good way to uh, to do it, and it's a great way to stay in shape. <laughs> Sorry, private joke. <laughs> Anybody who's seen Family Guy know what I'm on about. Come on. to the station we go, there's only one in here, so that's pretty good. <clears throat> so you can fit things like a mi micro jump drive here, medium micro jump drive. I have used the ship in 00 null sec and I have got through um, gate camps. So silly, but I have, especially with the crane. I've done the, I've lost, lost the crane as well with an awful lot of um, stuff in it. But majority of the time, I get through. Wow, control tower. It's not something you see all the all, all the time now. That's a Don't control tower. Is a a player owned station, a POS. Okay, let's, like I said, we need to drag that out from the fleet hangar and drag it into the item. What have I got? Well, oh, it's just... Yeah. Right. So now we can complete that. There you go. Standing's pretty decent. So we'll go back to Amoka, we'll do some level 4s. I think we might do them in the Gila again. I've not had time to get the Navy uh, Raven. And I don't know if I... I might get the Scorpion instead. Shall we have a look at this... Um, this POS? Let's have a look at the POS for those who don't know what a POS is. Uh, we used to live in these before Citadels and Keep Stars and everything else. Um, this is this this was how you lived in Nullsec. You lived in a POS. Right, so it's offline. Well, there's no bubble, so it's not, it's not, it's anchored. Uh, I wonder if I could unanchor that. Should we have a go? I can certainly fit in the uh, busted. Let's have a look. It's been so long. Normally you will have a, a, a huge bubble force field around this if it was online. Obviously it's been allowed to go offline. Um, I don't know. Don't know as far as 
He sank it, so I don't know if I can unanchor it. No, I don't think you can now. Oh, that's a shame. It's a it's only a Caldera control test, it's not faction or anything, so it's not worth a huge amount of money, but anyway. That's a control tower, and like I say, normally it'd be a huge force field bubble right around it, encapsulating all the tower and modules and extra bits that uh, that people need, like um, like uh, storage facilities for ships, things like that. Uh, and of course, it would have defense systems as well, you know, scram arrays. Um, it would have, I don't know, lasers or blaster arrays, you know, but um, those are the good old days. Spent many a day bringing down a POS or putting it into uh, reinforce mode. Uh, shall I pick these up while I'm on my way? Yes, I think I will. What else have I got there? Might as well pick these, this up. Do I really want the incursors? No. So, a sober second, yeah, I'll pick those up as well. Oh, God. Yeah, I'll pick that up as well. Yeah, so what you've got in yellow there, so if you've set uh, a destination, the systems in yellow are the systems you're going to pass through to get to that destination. So if you've got things there, I always look, if I've got anything there, I always try and keep my... Uh, Inventory clean, tidy, but my intentions are good. Let's put it that way. Okay. So, Baseki. Oh, yeah. So, I've got that. I, I remember I bought those the other day for the Gila, so I may as well get those. They, if you remember, the hammer, the hammerheads are they thermal. Yeah, thermal. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if I've got anything expensive, I'm going to take to Jita. I mean, very expensive. I'll use the busted. Small amount, but very expensive. You know, I will take the busted as uh, people will try and attack you. Right, let's dock. Okay. And of course, there's no way they'll insta-pop uh, a busted on the gates. They'll have to be a, quite a big fleet and they, will have to, and they will all have to alpha strike you all at the same time. Which doesn't happen that often. Unless we're on a planned op, of course. You just got. There's one guy in G2 who's just there, constantly ganking. It has been said that he is using um, some sort of software 
third party software to uh, to collect the um, the goods after he's killed someone to collect the wreck but it's well I say it's not been proved Docking permission requested. looking at some of the guys who are talking about it I think I think they've got a case but apparently uh, CCP don't want to know Hey -ho. I think some of, some of you guys watching might know who it is. I watched him the other day. He's always in a tornado. Uh, I was what I don't know if you guys caught any of my broadcasts just due to live. Tell me what you think about that. If it mean if you think anything, um, it's just something I thought I'd do just just to uh, well to see see what response I got. I think it's um, I'm, I was trying to do it on the other system on my laptop but it won't it won't run smoothly because it does time the only thing is it ties me down so I can't do anything else with the computer. Right, Kakakella. I might as well pick those up. Come on, big boy. It's so slow. What? Have I named this? Yeah, I have. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. as they go. Let's have a look. Three, three point three AUs. Obviously you can hand sat slightly with rigs and things. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Throw him in. Uh, don't think it'll go in anyway. Oh, it does. Fair enough. Probably never use it. Ok, 
Okay. To warp again. <coughs> I know it's a bit early for a live broadcast today, but uh, I've got other things to do later. I thought I'd um, do a recording now. she'll offer us. Be nice to get a Nomic team, wouldn't it? And I will get the... Now I've got the loyalty points. I've 614,000 loyalty points, so uh, I'll have a look at next the next ship and we'll fit it out. And we'll do some missions in that. Okay. So that was the storyline. Very important. Whenever you're offered one, do it, guys. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Okay. So let's swap out, and it's, oh, we'll put those, can we put those in the gila? I think we're going to do the gila, aren't we? doing in there. <laughs> oh, God. I think that's fun there. Yeah, the drone base full, so I've got all those. Uh, let's have a look. Hmm. I'll leave those as they are. These can stay back. Right, I'm just going to be... I'll be right back, guys. I've just got something I need to do. Okay, welcome back. Right, let's let's see what she's oh she's offered me something. Oh, it's enemies abound. I never finished it, did I? Okay, we're gonna have to accept that. And it's Galenti Federation. It's in a mock up. Enemies abound. Well, let's let's accept that. Oh, God, I didn't, uh... So, enemies abound. Oh. Enemies abound. 
part one, part two, part three. We're on part four now. Uh, kinetic and thermal doesn't really apply to us because we're using the gila and it's a drone boat and we're sniping. So I will just use, with the kinetic, I will use the Caldara Navy uh, Vespers. Okay, so we've got Scrammers, five of them. Scrammers and Webbers. So it's again, it's just a matter of just, just removing them. <clears throat> removing the little ones from the field and these are the insignia you get from that and I'll I'll reiterate guys if you've got a salvager use them because these are worth quite a bit of money on the uh, open market and that's five but we get to do that okay so, so we've accepted it, we're good to go, and we'll, why are my personal assets down there? We'll put that there, undock. <clears throat> so, like before, Keeping your eye on your drones, making sure that they are always moving as best you can. Because if they sit still, they'll be shot and killed. So we've got enough Vespers. Two sets of Vespers. Okay, so we will go in. Drive active. Have a look around. See where, see who's where, and burn away from them all. So there they are. There's going to be more spawns, me thinks. So I am going to go this way. I'm going to remove those from there. Okay, let me drop the Vespers. And let's lock up these lights. And let's put them on them straight away. Don't think I can lock any more up. One down. Sweet. Come on, boys. Wipe these pesky little ones out. So we do have a gate there, but um, right now, I'll just focus on the little ones because they are on to the drones. You can see the little buggers are on that uh, they're on that drone. So as soon as we've taken those out. Come on, boys, they're struggling with this one. They can split up now and again, so just make sure you're pressing F, the F key. Select your target, press F, and that sends the drones to that target. Damage is minimal now. I'm going to orbit the gate at this. They're taking the time with that. Oh, finally. Oh, he's getting a bit of damage. One of the drones you can see is getting a bit of damage. That should... It should be, it should be okay. 
We've got two more, three more to kill. They seem to be struggling. Oh, no, they're not. Just took the time getting there. Right, next one. Finally, the last one. So the damage on that drone is now dissipating. He's, re he's, he's regening his shield. So we start on the big boys now. And you can see the DPS from the drones. Pretty decent. If I should use hmm. taking too long, let's bring them in. Should be a lot quicker than that, obviously. Uh, it says kinetic and thermal, but I'm going to use the uh, hammerheads. Let's see what that does when these two are finally in. Right, let's try the hammerheads. Right, let's see what we get with those. It's better. a lot better that's one thing to remember I know on the guide it says kinetic and thermal but I'd use thermal damage as your primary sweet and the last one It's just going to go pop. And they're ripping through this one, straight through his shields. I know it's an armor tanker, but that shouldn't last long either. Damage his rear end. <coughs> towards the gate. It overheat slightly. And he go boom. Megathron. Not one of my favourite battleships, but uh, they're good. They're dangerous. In the right hands or with the right fit. Right, let's get to the gate. Obviously, I'll edit this out in the edited version. Right, the drones are in. Just repair that. Hey, Chris, you all right? Uh, 100 MN. Uh, yeah, on the on the Megatron, you, I think you can. I'm not 
I've never really been a massive fan of the Megatron. Um, I'd have to look at a fit on that. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously it's a battleship, so yeah. But it would be a case of just just playing around with the fit on the fitting. I mean, you've got now. You have a fitting tool. You have the fitting screen here now, and you can you can go to simulation. We never used to have that in the old days. So you used to have to just mess about. I mean, when I first started, you literally just had to buy the thing. I hope it fitted. Right, let's go. Warp drive active. Yeah, Megatron looks it looks evil. But mine no. It's, it's I like my Mimitar. I don't know why, but I do like the Mimitar. And uh, let's just have a look at this. Oh, it's this one here. Okay, let's burn down. Let's burn down. All right, let's drop the hammerheads again. I might as well put them on these two. I think we'll have a spawn of little ones as well. Yeah, there is a bit of a delay, Chris, on me seeing your... Well, you hearing me, I see your chat straight away, but uh, there's a bit of a delay on you hearing me. I've tried to reduce it as much as I can, but it seems to be... seems to be the norm. Anyway, how are you doing with your, with your missions? And what are you... Did you have the... I think you had the Tango, didn't you? The Tango, you fitted the Tango out? Come on. I'm going to open the gate now, as it is. The Dominics. You see, I don't mind the Domi. It's a quite a bulbous big thing, but I do like it when I'm using uh, Sentry Drones. Further Dominics to the Megathron. I did actually start flying Galenta ships when I uh, when I first started playing, which was a long time ago. There goes the Domi. Okay, let's keep those drones busy. I mean, they don't look too bad. They're quite an evil looking uh, ship, quite menacing. It's just with, with Megatrons, it's just, in the old days, it's just blasters and they've got to be right up close and personal to do any, any serious damage. I mean, there are other, other fits. The main thing is, I think it's, I think it's projectile, a bonus to those. Right, let's uh, look at the dummies. They're not doing much. And there's a pos. 
Empty pulse. Okay, another dummy. Well, they don't last long. <laughs> Federation Navy dummy. And the final one. Right, it's gonna burn to the gate. chair trying to get comfortable which is not very easy nowadays okay last one let's pull these boys in wave goodbye to the megathron let's take the gate So I don't know if you've tried the Tengu uh, fit, Chris. I don't know if you've um, if you've managed to get it get it right with with a few implant. Those implants are literally are just damage uh, and range. I've no other implants other than the plus fours. Is they're, they're only there for really for the skill training speed. So there's I've not actually got like snake implants and things like that. I never really bothered with those. Not for not for things like this. Don't get me wrong, I, when we were in null sec, yeah. You know, you need to enhance your your damage or your speed or whatever even more in, in null sec. That does help. Immensely. Drive active. I'm not going to repair it. I was going to repair that then, but let's just see where we are. Oh, sentry guns and little ones. What a surprise. These are painful. Right, so I need to get out quick. These need to die very quickly. more. I'm going to uh, overheat because this really does matter now. All the little ones need to die very quickly guys. Because this is going to be quite tight. He's getting some damage, that drone. I'm getting some damage. Might lose a drone here. Gonna repair these while I can. Ah, lost the drone. Son of a... To, uh, we have to launch them. My God, they're still hitting me. Blimey. Right, let's go for transversal. <laughs> Come on, guys. Still getting damage here. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm going to have to call it. I'm just going to warp anywhere. When these two finally come in. I've got no little ones on me, which is good, because you are in danger of losing. Oh, it's going to die. It's very slow, and it's gone. Okay. Drive active. That wasn't good. That was not good. Prepare that. Obviously, you can dock up and your shield. When you undock, your shield's fine. But, um... Let's just repair everything. And we can walk to this one. Good job I can edit this out. <laughs> drive active. So we lost both hammerheads there. I'm not going to drop them this time until, until I get to a distance. And the trouble is, when you warp out of a mission, you have to go through all the gates to get to where you left. Which is painful. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. So, the infiltrators are EM. Let's just see what the mission says on that. Um, let's get some more drones. Where are they? On my heads. I could just get... I'm going to remove some of the... Um... I'm going to remove these. Let's just put the hammerheads in. Republic Fleet. Okay. Right, let's go back to it. So, a lot more hammerheads this time. And we are going to go back to the mission, but we have to go through all the flipping gates, bounce through all the gates we've done to get to where we left off. It's just a shame you can't put a micro jump drive on uh, on the keeler. <laughs> that would be summit. Okay, let's go, let's go. Warp drive active. Sometimes I I don't finish in the ship I started with, but uh, I do like to try and finish start and finish with the ship I started with. It does depend on the mission of course. This is a little tough at the end. Come on. Warp drive active. And the next one. At least it warps you in kind of close to the gates. Mm -hmm. 
some of the missions just warp you in on the gate, so you literally can just pew, pew, straight through. Come on. So I'm not going to drop the drought till I burn. Burn away. Go. And there they are. So it's literally a 180. As quick as you can. Because they'll be out to get you. I'm going to have to just launch because there's some little ones close. And those stinking sentry guns are the problem. get rid of those sentry guns because they really are a, a massive headache. is falling now. Oh, looks like I'm getting a delivery from Amazon today. There we go. Right, I'm going to orbit now. I think we're far enough away. Let's get our... Uh, Transversal up. Gonna watch those drones. Sweet. Don't think oh, I should have left them on them. I don't think we'll have much trouble from the lights now main thing the damage is the uh, the damage is, is the sentry guns hmm. did quite a bit of damage to that Come on, boys, blimey. Taking your time. Just gonna keep pressing F, just to remind them where they're going. And sometimes they are. Oh my God, am I losing another one? Son of a... That's a tough one to kill. Blimey, they are. Sorry if you can hear my missus in the background, guys. I've just lost the drill. Let's drop another one. <clears throat> and send him to that one. Finally! Jeez, that took some bloody doing. This is the final room though, so you do expect it to that be a little bit tougher. Right, let's try and uh, 
Kill these mother truckers. Flipping egg. It cost me two drones. <laughs> Don't like losing drones. And I very rarely do, but today. Well, that died a lot quicker than the last one. It's already dead, good. Oh my god, why, why didn't the other one pop like that? God damn it. <laughs> you horrible little man. Okay, let's go for the big boys. to the big ones, so that's good. I mean, how much of those? How much of those? So, so uh, there you go, 1.8 million a noon, and geez, it's a blast from the past. We used to go through a noon, and I was like the uh, Bottom of a pipe. Trying to remember where from. Jesus. I knew it was a station. My God. I'm going to knock this off and repair it. Go on, boys. too much damage take a while to repair that and the drones are doing pretty good job we'll get this one he's a bit close so he's doing a bit of damage now get the boys on him second now. Look at all the damage on his rear end. Bye bye. Yeah, final one. Shouldn't get any more damage now. So hammerheads for this one guys. And that should be done. Ah. We're gonna destroy the shipyard as well. I remember now. doing the damage but my god <laughs> 
flipping egg. That's going to take a while. Sorry, guys. I wish I could fast forward through this. Halfway through. I do like a good explosion at the end of it. Mm. If this shows damage, oh, it's a shame it doesn't. Just looking where they're hitting. Uh, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? The stations show damage near or like the ships do. through its shields. Let's see what its armor's like. Already into the armor. Okay, we're going quicker. A lot quicker through the armor. Yeah. Okay, nearly halfway already. It's good. Keep it up, boys. I hope the structure's uh, pretty weak. <laughs> cool. Let's have a look. See if I can look at. Uh, my little drone. There he is. I love how I can shoot it 90 degrees. <laughs> Looking tough little nut. Gotta love these uh, faction drones. They do. They do take some. Da uh, they do take some damage. Oh, uh, well, let's have a look at the structure. Ah, okay. It's gonna go quick. It's gonna go quick. Ish. Oh, it does. I was just looking then. Yeah, it does. See where is the damage is. See if we can see the next. There. There's the, dam there's the damage. I never knew that. Now you see, you learn something new every day. It actually shows it like the ships. That's good. That's really good. My missus can talk loud on the phone. Jesus. Hope you're not picking up, guys. Sorry if you are. Here we go. 
you go big bada boom. There we go. Let's call these bad boys home. should be thank you objective complete four or five okay cool we're going sweet so that was that one while we're warping let's just have a quick look at the next final one part five Explosive and kinetic, and it's Mimitar Republic, so it is explosive. <clears throat> and what we got well, a couple of um, webbies, but no scrams, so that's okay. That's good. Let's dock up. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. I don't know if you guys um, have an Insta dock. Um, that's just habit for me. When I was in zero zero, you, had, you always made sure you had a, an Insta dock rather than just walk to the station and then and then dock because it can be the difference between life and death. So if you. It's up to you if uh, you're ever out there in the wildlands. Make sure you do your insta docs. Okay, so request mission. Let's. Animals of Bell, 505. Mimita, next door. Ah, uh, that's 8,600, so that's not going to be an easy one. And what she wants us to do, just. Destroy the smuggler, right, destroy the smuggler gate as soon as possible, right? Well, that's going to be pretty well guarded. Right, okay, so the gate is the target. Accept it. Let's have a look at our drones first. So it's next door, isn't it? So, the drones, we need some explosive drones. Uh, that's going to be the uh, Valkyrie Fleet Republic. There they are. So, I need to swap out. We'll swap out these. Right, so what space have we got? No, no space. So that's they're what we're going to use. Let's go. Drive. Right, I'm going to rep these while uh, I remember. I mean, it's not imperative, but I just like things to be in order. That's my OCD coming through. Okay. I don't know what you think to the gear, guys. Um, I don't know what you think to the drone boat of a gear, rather than uh, up close and personal. But to me, you can never really get that DPS from the ship itself. It's all, it's all the drones. So for me, it makes sense to uh, to attack from from a distance. You know, just let the drones do the work. Yeah, you're going to lose some drones. Who cares? They're only about 1.8 million each. Big deal. It's about the fun. I've been having fun in E for years. 
had a bit of a break. I think I had about a three-year break. Um, because I'd done a lot. Oh, I was spending too much time. You've got to regulate your time properly, guys, because I was doing silly hours. My missus, I don't know, my missus stayed with me. Because I was, um, I was on it as soon as we got home, and I was on it till, like, the early hours of the morning. And that was nearly every day, relentless, and it just... I realised that's too much. Oh, come on, big boy, you're clear now. Let's get that boost to go in. <sighs> Finally. straight down and we've got bloody sentries straight away those things hit you so we're going to take them out Okay, I'm going to, before I burn out the module, I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> I'm going to turn all the heat off. Okay, we're getting a distance now. Keep the drones moving. So we need to destroy that as well. We get a little bit more distance. Ah, uh, yes, one of my favorite ships. Stabbers, typhoons. <laughs> Let's do some repair while we're here. I'm gonna all bit out. That wreck is sort of kind of in the middle of them all. a stabber. It's taking a bit of a pounding. So we've got a tempest and a typhoon to kill after the stabber's gone. Let's do the Typhoon, no, let's do the Tempest. Uh, as soon as he dies, I'm going to head towards the Smuggler's Gate. Do like the Tempest. 
anybody who watched or has seen um, the the movie the Eve movie made by obviously people who play the game Blue Skies no Blue Skies Clear Skies oh we've got some little ones um, I was actually in the first one this, I'm in the stunt team. You see in the credits, you'll see Fozzy TBE in the in the credits of Clear Skies, the first one. That was awesome. We were fed, they were filming all night, and we were in the fight scene. If you look at it, if you look at it, there's the Galenti versus the Amarian. And I was in a um, fleet, and I was in the uh, Abaddon. And you can see the Abaddon dropping down and going in front of everyone. That was me. Um, yeah. Claim to fame, guys. Have a look at it. It's a bit... It's a bit of an old film now. And there's Clear Skies 2 as well. But the first one I was in, I was uh, just loving every minute of it. I'd only been playing the game in maybe a year. And... Uh, the guy saying, "Oh, they need they need people for uh, for filming," and they'd asked our corp to supply pilots. Brilliant. I was in the job then. Uh, the job, and we were part of the Fatal Alliance, where Sister Bliss came from. Oh. That, or should I say, that's where I knew Sister Bliss, who's Mr. Initiative. Well, not so much now, but uh, in the good old days, Sister Bliss used to FC everything. I mean, everything. They spent a lot of time, a lot of effort. Always appreciate this time and effort. Big respect for you, Sister Bliss. Of course, now we have Dark Shines at the helm, and Dark Shines is just as good, a very capable FC. Uh, immense respect from all, all the pilots, all the members in the Alliance. The, you know, they, they, we all follow him implicitly. He's, he's one of those guys who has that, um, has that. I won't say air, but that respect. Really? Was I already looking at that ship? My God. I am looking at it, just don't know why it's delayed. Okay. That, oh no, we're gonna do the smuggler thing now, aren't we? Oh, let's go to the gate. Bring those two in. Oh no, don't, no, don't, 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 just orbit. Let's send them to the gate, silly me. Don't know why I'm going to the gate. I'm, I'm half asleep this morning, guys. I'm going to repair this while they destroy the gate. Oh, let's not bother. Let's get rid of these. If I remember rightly. these boys to take these out quickly. Right, let's burn away. Let's 
sweet. One more. They're dealt with. We'll come back to destroying the uh, Stargate when uh, it's appropriate. Typhoon, what a uh, just that always reminds me of that off the off the film off the Star Trek film. Oh, in fact, I think it was the Star Trek series, the original. Jesus, there's a ship like this with a big open hole as a mouth, like a mouth. Always reminded me of that. But Typhoon's good, good ship, fitted right with, with the right skills. Yeah. This one out. You can't believe two medium drones bringing down a battleship. I mean, normal circumstances that would be impossible. <laughs> well, it would take a, a lot longer. I wouldn't say impossible, but there we go. He's gone. Get that typhoon back to the, and then we'll get back to the uh, Stargate. Okay. I think I can uh, safely orbit now. Without that, and I'll repair that. He did. It's going to take a little while, this. The structure's better than the armour and the bloody shields. I've noticed there's quite a few coming in to, uh, to watch, guys. And then leaving. Say hello in chat, if you can. Oh, we've got another spawn. Let's get the mediums. Let's get the cruisers. Oh, no, that one. Darkana. Staying as I am right now, my signature radius will be tiny compared to... So they will not be hitting me just yet. Well, now they are. Let's kill him, finish him off. There we go. Okay. Get the rupture. Blimey. Get some DPS off these mothers. Some damage. Right. It's him. It'll be him. Let's have a look. The typhoons aren't hit me for much. Dark can is not that much. Sorry guys, just crack the uh, microphone. Come on boys, 
Let's finish these buggers off. Yeah, I do like the Tempest, but my favourite is the... It's a Maelstrom. But it's a... Really, it's a... It's a sniping, heavy gun battleship. I don't think I've seen any sort of short range setup on those that works anyway. Right, let's get a typhoon next. to finish that gate off but uh, they keep spawning through the little swines skin. Hugins. We're at a decent distance now with the Gila, so uh, shouldn't bother us too much now. Just need to get these these uh, cruisers killed. Sweet. Okay. Nice one. These are going to pop very quickly. Looking ship just remind me of a, a whale, just mouth open. Actually, that's a that's a whale shark. It looks like that. Ouch. 
<laughs> so we look at this one, but watch this one die. <laughs> Trying, trying their best. Freedom, liberty. Oh, my God, there's more. Right, he's dead. They have to kill the lights. to kill these little buggers. Good. They die quickly. Yep, you keep on dying quickly. You'll make me a happy man. Trying to kill the gate, but uh, hmm. every time there's a spawn, and we're back to ships. focus on this one. There they go. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> Come on, boys. Kill him. It's repping a little bit. Oh, he's going to be dead soon. Boom. Shield tanked. Yeah, these are shield tanked. Beauty about mimic tank can go either way, armor tank or shield tank. Quite versatile in that respect. And he's down. few in on me, some are missing. I 
It's wonderful get another spawn. Try and kill the gate before it, if there is another one. Let's get some DPS on the gate and let's see what happens. I can handle one battleship, no problem. Twenty-four damage, yeah, we can handle that. So I'll leave him out, so if there is another spawn coming. I'll get it to halfway damaged in structure and then kill the uh, Tempest. <clears throat> this is the only time I wish I had extra DPS. Just love that you actually get the damage on the uh, on the um, on the gate on you know on structures as well as ships. It's good. I thought it'd show you a spec on it, but it never does. So we'll leave Dark Anna to uh, try and catch up with me. With the Gila. Keeps them off the drone. Well, he won't be able to hit the drones anyway. Control tower, another POS. <clears throat> right. Excuse me. Right, let's kill that tempest and see what comes through. big boy. Do your stuff. I 
this better. gonna go down. these to kill a gate. Mm. And look at all that salvage guys if you had uh, another character in a salvager like a Noctis uh, Fossil as a Noctis I just can't really run too while I'm filming recording I did come here, I've got four and four, so four salvages and four tractor beams. And you can clear the field in no time, guys. If you want the fit for that Noctis, let me know. It just clears the field in no time. Just need to set up your overview, you know, for Rex, or have a separate overview setting. spawn as it blows up. DPS. It's just bloody that it's a tough gate. Come on. Here we go, any second now. There we have it. Let's go back. Drones are in. Ship's okay. We can knock those off now. So, took a while in the Gila. As you can imagine, the Tengu would have been ideally suited for that mission.
Okay. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Where's my money, bitch? <laughs> Uh, okay, so 631,000 loyalty points. That's um, finally done. That's a long mission. That's well, in five sections. Um, thank you guys for watching. I think that's it for right now. I might be on later. Uh, thanks, Chris, for joining us on chat. Um, I don't know if you heard, you must have heard me mate, but you, you didn't reply, you might have been AFK, I don't know if you can talk to me or not when you're at work, if you are at work, but um, thanks very much, if you like what you see, subscribe and like, and I do appreciate it, it's, it's much uh, appreciated guys, it does a lot for the channel, Obviously, it's a new channel, it's growing, and, and I'll stick with it and just keep pushing out more more content. But thank you very much, have a great day, and I'll see you later on. I might be doing some more level 4 missions, either in the new Scorpion, uh, or the uh, Navy Raven. Okay, see you later guys. So get ready, as soon as he pops you need to just... Turn off your micro warp drive and head towards the wreck and see what he's left us. So, just like I say, you get the 14, 12,000 uh, load to punch, which is excellent. But sometimes you do get a decent mod. Okay, he's about to die. There you go. Go to the uh, burning wreck. I mean, what's wrong with that? It's a fast little ship, this. There's nothing worth looking at on the other wrecks. Okay. Come on. So, nothing. Nothing really, so I can't be bothered with that. So, we'll just go back and uh, get another mission. Warp drive active. That's a bummer. Oh, I might have left us something, something decent. So you get uh, two and a half million as well, and two point eight million bonus. You do it within five hours, which is good. Pretty good. I was impressed with that one. Went down very well. I'd do those all day long if I could, guys. I used to do a lot of those in uh, when we were in Geo, G Dasho. There were about four stations. And you could go to each level four security um, agent and request, request, and request, and you used to get some uh, boatload of these, you know. And you just you really could pick and choose what you did because you had all those agents. You were allowed one, one um, in twenty-four hours. You were allowed one, no, 
you know, refusal. But the anomic ones, like anomic base, you got all the anomic ones you can refuse to do and you're not penalised. But the only one you do is anomic team. <coughs> but you need that, um, you need that gamma fit. It's a great, you can do it in cheaper ships, but I don't know how much this fit is. That's a little, it's only 164 mil. Not that bad. Not that bad at all. Obviously, you could pimp it out, but there's no need. Absolutely no need. Permission requested. Docking request accepted. Sweet. Happy with that, you guys. That was a good little mission. Right, let's request. Oh, a Nomic agent. Oh, that would be great if it was a, a Nomic team again. Gristy spies, eliminate Gristy spies and their guards. And we'll take that. We'll sort ships, we won't be doing it in a armor. <coughs> we need to, um, it's Gristy, so it's uh, kinetic and thermal. So we need to just change the tango fit slightly. Get into the tango. Gonna leave those in there. Yeah. We'll get rid of the EM. And we'll put two kinetic on there. To go. Okay, that's, that's a decent one. That one needs trashing, I think. Anyway, let's go. It's it's in Tadakai. Like a gila, yeah. I like the gilas, it's a good little ship. It's like it's a mower hull, but I mean, you get look at that for the that's the roll bonus, roll bonus 500% bonus to medium combat drones damage, and then the hit points they're like they turn into just tough nuts with. A real punch. I love using the gearly for that. The, I just send out the drone. You can only use two drones, mediums. You just send them out and they inflict so much damage. Because of the, I think it's because of the bandwidth, you can only send two out. 
But, um... Uh, where's Tadai? Is it next door? Akakela. Okay. Drive yeah, the Gila's a great little ship. That's why I used it. Just to use it for the officer spawns. Um, with the... in conjunction with this Tango. And I'd have Fozzy in the Gila, her in the Tango. And we'd, like, play tag. So the officer would come for an eater. She'd get pummeled. She would hit him, but Fozzy would then try and take the heat off an eater. Then he'd come after Fozzy. An eater would warp off, come back, start hitting him again. And he used to just do it that way every time the officer died. Uh, the, I only once lost a Tango and I only once lost a Gila. And I made billions, so I was very happy. I think up to date, and it's only past two or three years, I've had 23 officer spawns. Varying officers from mainly in Fountain, they were, so that's um, Cormac was the big one, the main guy. Then you have. Um, trying to think who the other two are. Tuvan, Tuvan, Tuvan. Um. And I cannot remember the other one. Anyway, so they uh, they drop weaker amounts. There's there's a real easy one you can kill. He drops good stuff, but you you might at best you might get a couple of billion out of him. But they do drop. Don't forget they do drop faction mods as well as officer mods. Sometimes they'll just drop all officer mods and an implant, but they're still worth maybe a billion, two billion. So it's it's not too bad. Let's go get those Garista spies. I really wish I could sort this delay out. There's quite a delay between between my screen and the live stream screen. About four or five seconds. And I've tried reducing it and low latency and everything else in OBS. But, hmm. Okay, let's go. Warp drive active. Yeah. God, feeling it today. Didn't have a good night's kip. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Uh, where have I gone? Where there? Hell have I gone? Warp drive active. The hell? <laughs> concentrate, Fozzy, concentrate, lad. <laughs> God knows what I did there. Try that again. Warp drive active. This shows I wasn't really looking, guys. I was doing something else, trying to concentrate, but I was doing something else on the other screen. Or looking at something else on the other screen. Okay, we are going to go up. Maybe. Yeah, up, oh, left. We're going to go up there. We're going up there. One, two, three, four. There's no little one, little ones. Ah, these are ravens or golems or whatever you want to call them. They die pretty quickly.
may as well just put the booster on. That's one down. Next. <clears throat> so they've all spawned now. I love these rage heavy assault. Just love them. Deal so much damage. <clears throat> and this one should be gone in a couple of salvos. There you go. Okay, let's go down to this one. Let's go straight down. We'll orbit that at say 15. So now we can concentrate on these boys. Okay, let's do it. It's either a navy raven or a, or a golem. They're damned just to hurt, but not this shit. Be thinking of using the Tango guys if you can fly it. It's it's the only one that I've plenty of battleships in the station, I just don't use them, they're gathering dust. This is the only ship I use. I can configure it how I want. Like I said, it's so flexible and reconfigurable, if that's the word. Yeah. Let's finish this last big boy off here. Kaboom. Let's see how hard he's getting hit. Bang, bang. Every four seconds near enough. Not even that, every two. And he's gone. these just die so quickly. These are a bit tougher, the spies, but they're just made out of happy mashy, those things. T 
tissue thin. Oh, what was that? More payment? Bounty, yeah. Five million in bounties, that's not bad. Better turn around before I'm out of range. <coughs> so I should be able to finish these off just on this uh, cartridge. Turn it off now, and I should be able to finish him off on three. A module has run out of charges. There you go. Bang on. So that's uh, that's the mission done. There you go. Go back. Warp drive active. Oh, that's quite nice, that colour. That skin. But I'd like the other skin. I'm going to have to buy it. What was it? It was... Uh, Foss has got the other skin. Where is it? It's... That one. Yeah, how much is that? Ah, oh, okay. Ah, uh, don't want that. No, can't find it. If I went to Jitter, it'd be there. Like that skin, that's nice. Warp drive active. If we look at her... <clears throat> Just to... No, I'll have to look at them. Blimey. I'm going to show you those. There's a few billion there. There we go. Warp drive active. So that wasn't too bad. Be nice if she gave us another anomic team mm. oh, docking permission requested docking request accepted don't make me laugh some of these guys S 
smuggler interception. Excellent. And let's have a look. Mm -hmm. So we've got to pick up the militants. Destroy convoy and return with the cargo to the agent. And it's Blood Raiders, so we should be okay with the... Ah! I've had one offered as well. We'll go to Kakakella. Kakakella afterwards. So we've got a storyline offered, which uh, would be pretty decent. You get something out of it. You get so often you do... It's a, I can't remember how many loyalty points... Um, how many you get, and then you get offered a storyline, and then you go again, and then you'll... Do so many, and then you'll get offered another storyline again. So, uh, hmm. Right, let's do this. So we need to pick up the mill. I've got some militants, but it won't let me just hand them to her. You've got to kill everything as well. So we might as well pick up the militants from uh, from there. Have I got room? Three, seven, one. Yeah, twenty. That's fine. It's one thing you've always got to think about if you've got room to fit the uh, cargo they want you to carry. Sometimes you don't. That's when I'll just undock Fozzy and uh, get him in a, a busted. That's got 57,000 uh, cargo hold. Expanded cargo hold. Yeah, the ammo type should be fine. Blood Raiders. <laughs> okay, let's go. Add this on. Computer tracking. Go, 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 go. And here we are. So there's a few light ones. There's an acceleration gate. So let's go. Let's go around. Nothing's aggroed yet. What they will do is I get close to this lot. Keep an eye on the little ones. They are at a fair distance right now. If you look at it from afar, pretty well spread out. So we're going to do these first. In range, no. Yeah, these die pretty quick. So I'm starting to get aggro from the other group, so I may get full aggro. So be it.
Anything thing I don't like about missiles, you do waste quite a few. It's just part of the game. Part of the course, right? Boosters on. Keeping our lit ones. Just take these from a the distance. So I'm getting disrupted. Little ones are still miles away, so that's good. How many loyalty points? Four and a half. These. Mid range. I just finish these two big boys off. I'll reload. Lasers. Maybe I should have changed. I'm not really getting any damage. They are definitely hitting me for more. And I'm not hitting them as much. Switch out for EM. We'll see what the difference is. 867 was what I was hitting with uh, kinetic. There you go, a lot, lot better. So I'll stick with that right now. I mean, the ship's not failing. If I was, I would have just walked straight off and changed it. But, uh, it's fine. Oh, stop wasting missiles. Let's go to him. We're not coming. The little ones have woken up. So the little ones are closing in, so I'm going to lock that one, I don't think I'll be able to lock, yeah, I can lock that one. The 
we're both a bit too far away right now. Right, these are little tiddlers. Ooh, come on. I'm wasted ammo here. We go to the gate and over the gate because that's our next warp gate. A module has run out of charges. Reloading. Okay, should be dead in a sec. Seriously, is he not coming? We're going to chase him. Oh, he is coming. Go and get this one. It was refusing to come. It was behind this uh, building. You know what? I'm going to switch out to Javelin. My range is 79, so I can hit him now. It says we're going all the way out there. DPS is um, halved, I think. But you got a longer range. Seven five two. Still not. There you go. Switch back to rage. And let's get to that uh, acceleration gate. <laughs> Me. Ugh, keep me on. But, uh, not a brilliant night. There we go. these little pesky things. Let's lock them up. Uh, 
There we go. They should just aggro this group. He says. Personal transport, that's where the militants will be. I'm being scrammed as well by this little one. How truly dare you! I'm going to switch out to Javelin. Let's start hitting some of these. I'm going to leave that transport till last. I'll leave them till last. So probably we'll get some aggro. <coughs> Not some, all of it. So that's still good damage, even though it's two thirds of what the rage to so that's the two transporters which I'll leave to move in a bit. I'm going to switch out now because they're all in range to rage. I'm going to switch out to rage. Come on, let's get a few more of these. The little ones are coming. Don't think I can lock anymore, no? Okay. Actually, that little one's going away now, so I'll change my route. Back down the way it came. Shall we go through the middle of them? Ooh, I'm ever so daring. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Let's get that fiddler. Let's get that fiddler. Fiddler's already dead. There's this one, it just doesn't know it yet. A module has run out of charges. Sweet. Well, there's only this room. I thought we had another gate, but we haven't. So, oh no, of course we've got transport in, so it's, yeah, so that's it. That'd be it. Let's solve it, that wreck. I don't have to constantly keep adjusting. I can, uh, can certainly tank this lot. Wow, we've been on nearly an hour and a half. It's amazing how time flies. Next. I may as well approach those two. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. I wonder if anyone knows what that is. Ah, there's the can. And inside it are the militants. I think it's just ten, isn't it? Yep. Let's go back to the mocha. Warp drive active. I think we've done well, guys. We've had a few um, a few results. We got that anomic team, which is just great. I would do those all day long for twelve thousand five hundred uh, loyalty points and what ten million? No, uh, no, it's five, six million, six million. It should be just one. Agent giving out anomaly, um, anomic missions. 
just that's all it's about. Call it the Anomic Mission Agent. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. There we go. Let's talk to her. We've completed it. Thank you very much. Blah, blah, blah. We get everything. And that's it. And as always, it's been a pleasure, guys. Um, if you like what you see here, please subscribe. Please like. Uh, I will be back again. I might do the storyline um, on my next one, so just keep keep uh, looking in. But thank you again for watching, and I'll see you soon. All the best. Hi guys, welcome back. You can see we are in the Gila again. But I've done it how I used to have it when I was in Null Sec. Where I used to do the um I used to do the anomalies or or even doing taking an officer on. Um but that was two ships really, the Tango and the Gila. Anita was in the Gila, Fozzie was uh, Anita was in the Tango, Fozzie was in the Gila. Anyway. I'll give you I'll give you a quick look at the um the fit. It's it's pure drones. So you've got 548 DPS and that is all drones. Everything on the ship is either drone damage, drone distance, or drone speed. Uh look if you look at the computer there. Uh, that's the 30% maximum velocity bonus. Obviously, the more you put on, you're going to be penalised. So, you've got the three there, like it says there, diminishing returns. So, on three, you're not going to be getting 90%. You're going to be getting whatever it is, I can't remember now. Uh, I had a list somewhere. But um, it's still worth it with three, four, maybe not. These, yeah, if you look, uh, if you look, if you simulate this, I've got a targeting range of 185 kilometers and the drone range of 140. So that is that's quite manageable. It keeps you at distance because you have no tank whatsoever. So you are relying on getting out to where you need to be and then orbiting at a speed and just watching whatever gets close <laughs> trying to kill it before it gets to you so um let's give it a go let's well i'll say let's give it a go let's see let's see where we are with with the missions first damsel in distress uh Okay, we'll give it a go. It's quite a toughish one. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. If, if I have to call it, I'll call it. But let's, let's see how we go. It's in Umoka, so we don't need to go far. We need to pick the damsel up. I think she automatically ends up in your in your cargo hold when you blow up the um, pleasure domes. So let's have a look. I've got... Uh, Plenty of room in the cargo hold yet. Plenty of room's got some nanite repair paste. I might actually put a little bit more in there. Ooh. There, have I got some? Have I got some? Sure I have somewhere. Maybe not. <laughs> it's usually up here. I 
What's that well like? Right, I don't think I've got any. Okay, let me just quickly see if there's any on the market. There might be some here. No, there's some in... There's some in Kaka Killer. Not much. I'll buy the 200. 205. I'll go and collect it later on. Okay, I mean, that should do. It's 134, unless we're in dire straits. Anyway. Let's undock. Let's see what... What it brings us. So this is Damsel in Distress. I should have put that on the title, to be honest. I will do on the edited version. So let's have a quick look again. 185, 140, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So I need to burn away as quickly as possible to, a, to at least 130. So I might have to overheat uh, the afterburner. Top speed of that is only 753. Of course, lights will travel a bit faster. And of course, I can drop drones as soon as I'm there and get them to deal with those as I'm burning away. It's just going to be a bit of bit both. There we are. So let's, let's carry on past. I'll drop my drones. Kaldari Navy Vespers. I'll drop my drones. Get these locked up quickly. We're going to overheat this, I think. Right, put the drones on them. Okay, let's get those quickly sorted. Um, if they get near me, I'm screwed. The um, The big, the big boys, if they get near me, yeah, I'm doomed. So I'm just going to quickly just bring some of these down. I need to take that off now. I'll repair these while I can. Okay. Getting there. Once we're out there, we can uh, we can orbit. Let's pop crawl. And then come more big boys. Okay, so they are drawing, the drones are drawing damage. They're drawing all the aggro, to be honest, on the, especially on the new lot I've just spawned. So you need to keep your eye on your drones. One is getting a bit of damage, any shield damage. But you do need to keep your eye on that. And he's just, nah, he's just got a good hit there. You need to keep them, you need to keep your drones busy, keep them moving. Don't let them stop, that's when they get hit. I do, they do go fast. My God, they do go fast. Right, we are going to orbit at this distance. <laughs> These Macarials aren't living long. That drone is shaking off the damage. That's good. So these are going to be constantly coming out to me, so I've got to watch the distances. That'll be the next one to go. <laughs> okay. 
No, I'm going to put it on that one. So, as you can see, I'm orbiting at about 100. We'll get we'll get this uh, Macarial 85 killed. I think, excuse me, I'm very uh, nasally today, guys. Okay, as you can see, they die pretty damn quickly. It's good damage. It's good damage from two drones, two medium drones. I mean, really, from two mediums. Look at the damage. 825, 619, 1983. Holy crap. <laughs> it's good stuff. And they're not lasting long. And he's definitely not lasting long. He's gone already. <laughs> There's another spawn as well uh, to come. And then I can put the drones on the uh, pleasure dome. There are a few more spawns, I think. Been a while since I did this one. So if you just keep killing stuff, just keep killing stuff that's uh, closest. Good, they've already gone to that. I'll just reaffirm that. So I've got all the aggro, and of course they're going to be missing me. So it gives my uh, little drones time to get on the ships, not take any aggro, but when a new spawn comes in, it will aggro the drones. Okay, on that one, boys. You can't imagine medium drones doing this sort of damage, guys. It's crazy. I mean, look at how they ripped through a Macario. Wow. That's what always blew me away about the Gilas and their and their uh, their bonuses to drones. Now I'll put you guys on that one. And the bonuses to drones, 500%, to, is, is it on the damage and 300 or 200, 300 on uh, speed? Look at the speed of them. So, especially with the carriers, they're not going to hit them at, while they're orbiting at those sort of speeds. They're too fast. The only things that can do damage to the drones are mediums and lights. And that's only if the drones are not uh, and not doing what they should and be and stood still. You just have to constantly. I mean, watch the speed of these now. Look at that. Crazy. <laughs> Gotta love it. Just watch how quick they rip through their armor. Well, they actually go into the uh, structure before the armor's through. Well, they did on the last one. There, look, into structure. And armor's not complete yet. Just look at that. Bad boys. Okay, so we will... We will lock a pleasure dome. Pleasure garden, should I say. And we'll sick them on them. Go on, boys, kill that pleasure garden. And that one is worth slave pens, I think, as well. Anyway, we'll just kill them. I'll turn this off. There will be another spawn. Uh, let's repair her. Let's repair that. <laughs> oh, have I run out of. Oh, it's 119.
Yeah, it's rapid. Okay, where's my local up there? What's happening to the overviews? That's the one they need to get very quickly. Need to put them on the spider. Oh, they've caught up to him. Oh, bloody hell. And that is fast. I think it's got away now. He'll slow down when they get there. He goes dead. That's cool. Okay, let's uh, send them back. Have a bit of fun with the mediums, with the cruisers. another one. Nope. Well, I'll let them finish him off first. They can come for him then. Right. So far out, I don't need to worry too much. Uh, my signature radius will be pretty small as well because I've nothing on. If it was a micro drive, I would be like the size of a small planet. But... Okay, let's send those back now. Let's lock up some of the cruisers, the gealers. All right, we'll set them on this one. 